What is going on guys? We are going to review the new mail away food plan called Every Plate. Uh, we got a special on it and we're going to take you through it and let's see how it is. We're going to review it right now, right here, today. Let's, uh, let's first open it up. Alright, so this is Every Plate. It is America's best value meal kit. Basically how every plate works is every week you could choose from a certain amount of meals that they are going to send you and you could pick three, four, five, or six meals per week. We chose three meals for four people and normally three meals for four people would run you about $65. There was always kind of specials on it and we got it for $35. This is not a sponsored ad. Um, I'm just gonna review it and tell you if it's worth it. Let's first go in the contents. You open the box up. You get like a little ice bag. You feel it's really cold inside of here. And on top you got all your vegetables and everything you need to make your meals. And under the vegetables and everything is the meat you will need for all week. Chicken, ground beef. So you definitely have to, it's something you make yourself. It's not something you put in the microwave and heat up and boom, you're done. So it does look like it will take a little bit of time, especially prep time to cook. Each pack is about 10 ounces. Actually, they all are 10 ounces. If you would order for two people, you'd probably only get one pack. We are ordering for four people, so we get two packs for each meal. So the three plates that we got are the lime marinated chicken and rice bowls, the chicken scallopini, and the chipotle glazed meat lovers. We're in the mood for rice bowls, so we're going to cook the lime marinated chicken and rice bowls. Prep time is 15 minutes, ready in 35 minutes. And you need some garlic, lime, long green peppers, yellow onions, tomatoes, jasmine, rice, soy sauce, chicken stock, Mexican spice blend, chicken breast strips, and sour cream. Comes with everything. There are some things that are, are not included, and it'll tell you, but it's very little. It's like your normal kind of ingredients. So what you will need from your own kitchen with this dish is the kosher salt and black pepper cooking oil, sugar, and butter. That's it. We're gonna cook this in a little bit, and then we're gonna tell you how long it actually takes to make and how it tastes and if it's worth it, and if the instructions are easy to follow. So this is everything you get. You get a couple packs of rice for these meal preps, a lot of sour cream, a lot of scallions, your fresh vegetables, garlic, onion, limes, your meat packets, a lot of carrots, they like carrots some seasoning, soy sauce, uh, chicken stock, some bread, I think that's for the meatloaf, but that's everything. Okay, so this is lime chicken, and you have to follow the dashes. Four cloves of garlic, two limes, two long green peppers, two yellow onions, two tomatoes, Two jasmine rices, two, two soy sauces, sauce sauce, two soy sauce, two chicken stock concentrate, two Mexican spice blend, chicken breast strips, and then two sour creams. All this right here will make that. So now it says wash and dry produce, peel and finely chop garlic, zest pepper, thinly slice your main green pepper, blah 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 Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it. Okay, so we're just about done uh, with prep time. It's six it, six twenty-five. So prep time took us a half hour, not fifteen minutes. Um, I don't know what kind of cook you are, but we had two of us helping and it still took us a half hour. <coughs> uh, maybe if you're like a professional maybe, cook and just like maybe that's for two servings and we have four. So that would make sense. Okay, which leads me to my next kind of 
complaint or not so complaint but on a lot of the instructions it'll say just add onion but it won't say how much for four servings so we guess it's all of it but it's just a little confusing sometimes and i wish it just gave you the option every step for two servings or four servings is a half hour prep time a lot though and then you have what a little bit it is, right? And then you have a 35 minute cook time, supposedly. So that's like an hour. So these take an hour. So guys, this is the chicken strips. They want you to pat it dry. The problem is it's like minced chicken. So you can't pat minced chicken dry. It just sticks to the paper towel. And it's, I don't, it's, I'm saving my thoughts for how it tastes, but it doesn't look good. They call this chicken strips. This is more like chicken guts. Give it 100, don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Let's check on the rice. Don't open it. Don't open it. You don't open rice, man. Are you a burkey? I opened it. Trouble. You let all the steam out. No, just a tiny bit came out. <laughs> my mom's over here prepping a salsa. Uh, can you give me sugar? Yo, sweet! Which one is it, mom? The big one. Uh, the biggest one. This one? See, this is one tablespoon of water. Is that for a double? See? I don't know. <laughs> I told you. So, you know, like that. That's still a lot of onions. And you don't use onions for anything else, right? I don't think so. See, we think that there's just way too many, too, way too many onions. Way too many onions that it calls I for. Mean, you saw that they do shrink, so. Oh, so maybe it'll shrink and then you put more. We'll let you know if we oh, use them all. Oh, she's, at, she's using them all. Well, just yeah. use them all. We'll see how it tastes. This would be a good thing if you don't know how to cook and you want to learn how to cook. Yeah, a lot of steps too. And we'll see if it's worth all the steps after. How long it take you to make this sour cream drizzle? Sour cream drizzle, the main food, like mince, the then salsa. the salsa, the meat, you had to prep well. Like you had to, there's a lot of steps involved. Just for one bowl. Smells really good though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good. It does look good. So you put butter in that rice. Half the lines of. Look in the mirror, it appears no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time. So we are plating right now, it is 7.15, so by my calculations, it took about an hour and 20 minutes to prep and finish this meal. An hour and 20 minutes. Can't wait to try it. If it tastes really good, an hour and 20 minutes is, I don't know, I feel like an hour would have been so much better, but like maybe after you start doing it a while, you're more seasoned, you'll get a faster pace going and whatnot. We'll see on the next one. Looks good, only thing left to do is try it. This is what we're trying to make, and this is what we're making. What do you guys think? First taste test, mix it up. Smell? It smells really good. A lot of onions. <laughs> A lot of onions. All right, here we go. It's good. What do you think? Good. You like it a lot? Could you have done better by yourself? It 
tastes good. I find it hard to find chicken. I don't really taste the chicken, I think, because it's so minced. Um, I think it needed a little more garlic. I don't think there's enough garlic in it. But I we like garlic a lot, so. Um, I put extra. You did put it. extra garlic? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put extra garlic, but it still is not very garlicky, right? It is very garlic? No. No. I'm green. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it needs more garlic. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's good. It's not bad. I'm trying to give it a score 1 to 10. It's like the more I have, the more I enjoy it. Um. I'm going to give it a solid 7. Solid 7. What would you give it? Same. Solid 7. And this is a good serving size, which was, I, I was worried about that. This is a really good serving size. About $5 per person. That's uh, $20 a meal. That's not bad at all, actually. I mean, the only thing close to it is a $5 biggie bag at Wendy's, but usually you gotta get a combo and it's more than $5. Um, it's good. It's good. All right, guys, we're gonna end it here. If you wanna see more of us cooking, we're gonna cook the rest of them. Make sure you click that thumbs up, you subscribe, and click the bell for notifications because uh, we're gonna keep cooking the rest and uh, we, we're gonna try more too. Mom, what's coming next? Next week is HelloFresh. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I don't know if we're cooking another one tomorrow. It's an hour and 20 minutes. Might need a break. How long does the food stay fresh for? I'm assuming a week. A I week? Don't know. Yeah, I would think a week too, because you order, what, a week worth? This was supposed to be the quicker one. This was the <laughs> quickest? Yeah. Oh, no. I say ready in 40. Oh, boy. Just like 35. Oh boy. Peace.